guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if you hear my fish tank. Hopefully it's relaxing. Anyways, I'm upstairs in the living room. I look a little raggedy, got my boyfriend's shirt, but it's whatever because today I'm going to be doing a wash and go. If I'm using a new gel, now you guys know I live and swear by my Eco Styler gel. And we're going to test that today against the Wetline Extreme Gel. Now, I only got the small one because I wasn't sure how it would do if I would like it and I didn't want a big tub laying around for no reason. But I also got a really small one and I don't know if it's going to do whole the whole half of my head like I planned for it. So let's see if I got to be sparing, whatever. But we're going to do the side first. I'm going to put my moisturizer, which is the Coconut Shea Butter Cancer Curling Cream. And then we're going to put the gel on top. That's all I'm putting in my hair. Hopefully it doesn't flake. If not, I'll wash it out, but we'll see. So let's just get started. I'm going to start with the back section. Yeah. So, my hair is wet, but I also got a water bottle. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of the styling cream, which I never use a little. Okay, so the cream is in, and now onto the gel. And then we're going to do my other half and eco styling gel. But I won't show you guys that you I already have a video if you want to watch it, I'll link it down below. This says it has a max hold. And oh it smells really good. Now I'm not one for canceling eco styling gel or any gel that will help my hair out. So I'm gonna use what I like. If you guys don't like it, I don't know. But yeah. The slip is not bad. I feel like I have to use a lot. Just to like get a good hold. And I don't have that much. So I am going to shingle because that's what I always do. Just to get like the best look for my hair. And this is my hair shingled with the gel. Now I can be honest. There is a bit of frizz. Maybe I'll put some water to kind of help that. But I feel like I added a lot of gel and my hair is just soaking it up. So this isn't so thick to the point where a little bit goes a long way. It's like pretty thin. To me anyway. Because my hair like thick, thick, thick products. So this is what my hair is looking like so far. I want to add so much more gel because I don't feel like at least my ends need to be need to be defined. Seriously, I feel like this gel is doing absolutely nothing. It's not thick enough for my hair. Need to do more. It smells really good though, and the slip is not bad because normally with the eco style gel, my hair is drying, it starts to get a little bit harder to like shingle and stuff like that. This I'm not having that problem, but it's not like really. I feel like it would be a voluminous wash and go, which is not what I always go for, um, if ever. So I really want my gel to have hold and keep my hair fine for a whole week so I don't have to do anything. I don't think this will do that but you know we won't finish it and see and then if anything at least I know one side of my head will be good. 
which will be the equal style side. But I'm gonna finish the other half of my section and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I just finished half of my head with the Wet My Extreme Gel and this is what it looks like. I should really straighten my part, but this is it all done. Now I did like start adding more gel as I went on, so I hit the bottom of the container, but I actually didn't finish it. I used about half of it. Yeah, so I love the smell. I love the slip it gives. Um, we'll see about the hold as it dries. The back is drying some, but it feels very soft, so we'll see if it gives a crunch or not. So now the other side is going to be the Eco Style Gel. There's like a weird glare right there. Anyways, okay guys, so my hair is all done and this is the side with the Eco Style Gel is still drying and this is the side with the Wet Line Extreme Gel. And so of course, um, the Eco Style Gel for my hair is heavier so it weighs it down just a little bit more and this side has already started drying but um, I can definitely tell right now with the extreme side that it's going to be frizzy and my gel side normally it gets frizzy about like the third day depending on how I sleep with it but um, right now it's pretty much normal. Um, the this side, which is the extreme side, it feels more moisturizing than my Eco Style Gel side. So I normally use really moisturizing products so that this side doesn't um, feel so dry, but it normally feels dry after a little while and I wind up with moisturizing. But this side doesn't feel like that like at all, even though it is really soft right now, like almost, I'd probably say a three hold. It doesn't really feel like there's anything on my hair. Really matter. Okay, so we're just going to finish the video with the dog up there. Um, but yeah, so, zoom in a little bit. This is the hair. There's a glare. Why is the glare there? Let me see. Is it my camera? No, it's not my camera. Anyways, um, yeah, so this is the Eco Style Gel. This is the wet line gel. Definition shots. Definition shots. But yeah, I don't know. I gotta wait and see how it dries. Let me show you guys the back. Side. I don't know. Tell me which side you guys would think look better right now. I like that this side has volume. I have my dog is playing. I have a problem with getting my hair big. What washing going to matter? It's just been in my hair for seven days or two. So this I feel like would be nice. But we'll see how it holds up. So I'm going to let it dry and I will be back. So yeah. Okay guys, so I am back. Sorry to light on this way. I'm using my flashlight because I don't have lighting. Anyways, um, my hair is for the most part dry. You still see some white residue around this area. Um, but I do actually love the new gel. I kind of like it a little bit better than Inco Style Gel because I'm noticing that like my back area here is frizzy and I have to add more gel and it's still frizzy but this is more defined it's softer it's more voluminous um half of this belongs over here um so I really like it it's not bad 
and it's actually drying fast so it doesn't take like forever to dry but yeah I really do like it it's really cheap it smells good um, of course it's not like the best most natural gel you ever use but I don't really care about that so yeah let me just show you guys a close-up so this is the wet line gel side and then you guys already know how this side looks is the eco center gel But yeah, let me know what side you guys like best. Again, like this hair here is part of this side. So, one more time. And one thing, it's not like, you know, one side is longer than the other. It's drying pretty much the same. But this side is um, a little bit soft. It's not fully dry. So, I can feel a little bit of a crunch. But I don't really care. And... It is like the smell actually it doesn't stay in your hair or anything like that. So I really do like this gel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Hey guys, so really quickly I did want to let you guys know that this gel flaked on me so so bad that I have to wash my hair out. So it could be the products I use, but um, yeah, it also has a lot of frizz, and this is only like the first day, you can say, because I did my hair last night. So, I'm going to finish the bottle. That's my dog. I'm going to finish the bottle, but I'm not sure how I feel about this. I really liked it yesterday before it dried, and now that I dried, you can see. You probably can't see, but... This flakes galore. So I just wanted to add that in really quickly. But um, yeah. I wanted to do a 7 days in my hairstyle. But that's not going to happen because I'm about to change it. So yeah. I just wanted to add that in. But kind of disappointed. But what can you do? It could be the products. You never know. So I just thought I'd tell you guys. Because I was raving about it. And now I'm just like no. But yeah. I still hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.